All right, quick little video of the completed uh, vacuum system. Let me get her plugged in. If you'll bear with me. So now you gotta watch. So this is the bucket. It's just full of all the dust, which I am preventing from going in there. <clears throat> now we're empty. Here's the unit itself. So what happens is suction sucks air out here, causing the vacuum to go into there, and it cyclones it down here. It kind of makes it so it, don't, it kind of spirals down into the bucket with no way to get dust to come back up. So. I probably explained that real shitty. If you really want a better idea, look it up on YouTube. Alright, put that back there. Oops. Turn this swing. fact, here's what I'll do. I'll make a bigger mess. Yeah. All right. Walk with me. Okay. Let's zoom in on that song, bitch. There we go. All zoomed in and such. There's the vacuum nozzle. So we'll just turn this bitch on. Let me show you that nozzle. Shit's cleaned up. Let's back you up a little bit. Yes, the shop is very, very dirty.
And, well, you can't see shit. So, I'm gonna go over here, where you can see shit. There it all is, back in the bucket. <clears throat> so the idea behind it is that, probably don't need to explain it, because I mean, you probably already know, is that I don't get that full of dust and clog my filter uh, and having to clean my filter all the time. Um, I haven't had to because it's a brand new vacuum, but I hear it's a real pain in the ass to continue to do that all the time, especially if you don't have to. So that's why I built that there unit. Um, yeah. There you go. Oh, and one big whopping thing I did fail to mention also, another primary reason why you want to build this, this uh, all together, or the main reason I want to do it, is for proper dust collection when I'm using some of my tools, such as this here planer, which makes a big fat ass mess. So I just plug it in, turn it on. <laughs> I did all this.